Hello students, welcome to a lesson through the virtual training center of the Brihan Mumbai Mahanagar Palika. My name is Shraddha teacher and in this lockdown period since we are not able to go to school children, we will be doing many lessons here online through the virtual class. So come on, let's proceed to our lesson for today. Our lesson for today will be a lesson in standard 8th scholarship. And as you know, I always uh, teach you lessons in English, isn't it? So we will be doing an English lesson here and we will be looking at voice. That is a part of your grammar syllabus for your scholarship. Now children, we all know that English as a first language, we have 25 questions carrying 50 marks. And for this 25 questions that you have, 16% of these questions will be based on grammar. Now, grammar means the very first point in grammar is active and passive voice. We say voices, okay, or voice. And then you have direct and indirect speech. You have degrees of comparison. You have transformation of sentences, correlative conjunctions, compound conjunctions, WH questions, etc. So gradually, uh, slowly and slowly as uh, we proceed and as we progress in the year, I will be teaching you one by one all these topics. So the topic for today is voice. Now, when we talk about uh, voice, there are uh, two types of voices in English. So we have the passive voice and we have the active voice. Okay. So when we talk about voice, it could be either the passive voice or it could be the active voice. All right. Now we also take into account the various uh, tenses also okay as far as voices are concerned so when you change uh, the voice in a simple present tense the format will be different in present continuous tense the format will be different so as in when i show you the examples we will look at the uh, sentences okay so now what is the main difference between these kind of voice we will learn first so like we just discussed we have the active voice and the passive voice so now what is the active voice? So an active voice is the focus is on what subject does. Okay. The focus is on the subject here. Okay. Whereas in the passive voice, the focus is on the action. So in the active voice, the focus is on the doer. Whereas in the passive voice, the focus is on what is being done. Okay. Now we are not going to do in uh, talk in detail about active and passive voice children because this is a scholarship lesson for grammar. So we will quickly try and understand what is active voice, what is passive voice and we will see some examples and then directly we will go and try to solve the questions based on scholarship question paper pattern. So let us look at some examples. So see in the active voice, we will say Ram killed Ravan. Okay. Let us look at the passive voice and I will explain how they are different. In the passive voice, we will say Ravan was killed by Ram. So Ravan was killed. The action is important in the passive voice. Whereas in the active voice, what Ram is doing is important. So Ram is more important here. So Ram, what did Ram do? Ram killed Ravan. Now the most important thing for us to note here is that the meaning of the sentence does not change anywhere. Okay. At the end of the day, the truth is that Ram killed Ravan. Isn't it? Now the sentences, the way it is said is different. So an active voice, we say it in a manner where the subject is important. And in the passive voice, we describe or we say the sentence in such a manner that the action is in focus. Okay. So this is a simple meaning and example of active voice and passive voice. When we do a lesson only on grammar children, remember this is a lesson in scholarship. 
when we do a lesson only in grammar that time we will be doing active voice and passive voice in great detail considering all the changes in the verb phrases which will happen according to the tenses etc all right let's move on and let us look at some more examples so see what do you see here in the picture like in the previous picture we saw ram killing ravan so here what is the reality or what is the uh, thing which is happening in this picture there is a teacher there is a professor who is uh, teaching his students so this is what is happening actually now let us see how this can be described in two ways in the active as well as the passive voice so let us start by seeing how will you say this in the active form the professor teaches the students so who is uh, teaching the students the professor is teaching the students so here the question who is being answered so the subject is important here the professor teaches the students so this is the active form okay suppose we have to put the same uh, incident in the passive form what will you say the students are taught by the professor okay so the students are taught by the professor is just an afterthought what is important the action is important that the students are taught okay so this is one more example of how you can write sentences in the active and the passive voice now there are various uh, books that you can use for reference children you have the navneet uh, uh, practice book you have the pragati practice book you have the vikas publication practice book so you will find various kinds of examples in each of these books okay so if you get to refer all of them if you buy it uh, if you pool in resources and buy all the books it will be very good for you you will be able to see a varied a range of examples all right now let us look at some more example sentences before we go on and we try to solve our questions for today so let us go a sentence wise according to the number so you have the first sentence lata sings lovely songs so the focus is on who the focus is on lata she sings okay so let us see how you will write the sentence in the passive voice in the passive voice it will be written it will be said as or written as lovely songs are sung by lata if you notice carefully this is in the present tense okay this particular sentence is in the present tense look at the next sentence we did not grow rice we did not grow rice now this sentence you will see how it will be written in the passive rice was not grown by us okay so if you see here this sentence is in the past tense we did not and then when you change it to passive rice was not grown by us so see here the we became us and the did became was okay so here you see an example of past tense being used moving on what do you want what is wanted by you so you are using do which is in the present tense and is again is in the present tense remember children this is a question and always also remember that we will not change the meaning of the basic sentence or the basic question when you're changing it from active to passive or vice versa when you're changing it from passive to active the meaning of the particular sentence will never change look at the next sentence yes can you guess what is the uh, tense over here of the verb they will run a race so in which tense is the verb here so the verb is in the future tense will we are talking about something which is going to happen in the future okay so how will you change it or how will it be changed to the passive voice a race will be 
run by them. Okay? So then this is how you make the sentence into passive. And the last example, Tom is building a house. So this is in the present tense, but it is in the present progressive tense. The uh, action is still going on, isn't it? So how will you make it passive? A house is being built by Tom. So children, these are just five examples. And the more examples you look at, the more examples you solve, the better your knowledge will become. Okay. So there is no shortcut to this. The only thing you should do is you can continuing continue to practice. Look at as many types of questions and as many number of examples as possible. Okay. So that is the only way in which you can answer questions based on English grammar correctly. So there is no shortcut to success over here. So this was about how you change from active voice to passive voice. Now let us go to the main part of our lesson. That is we will try and see how certain questions are solved. So we will take some examples where we will uh, do the kind of question where passive voice construction is given. A passive voice construction you have to find out when active voice is given. Okay, so this is the first type of question. The most important thing in scholarship paper is you have to try and understand what the question expects from you. What are you supposed to write as the answer? So see here, choose the correct passive voice construction of the given sentence. That means the sentence which will be given as a question will be in the active voice. You will have to choose the passive voice construction of that particular sentence. So let us see what sentence is given to us. You take the heroine's role. This is your sentence. You take the heroine's role. What do you think will be the passive voice for this particular sentence? So will it be let the heroine's role be taken by her? Let the heroine's role be taken by you? Let the heroine's role be taken by be yours? Let the heroine's role should be taken by her? So we have these four options. Which do you think is the right answer? Now. I will give you the answers immediately because there is no interaction going on here children. In a normal scholarship class, I used to ask you a question and wait for you to answer me. And remember, like last time I told you, we used to have lovely quiz contest between two schools when we used to take lessons from the virtual class. But here, I will not be able to wait for your answer. So what you should do is when the question comes up, please pause the video. And try to find out the answer yourself and then check whether your answer matches with mine. So here the answer will be answer number two. Let the heroine's role be taken by you. Okay, let's move on. <clears throat> let's go to the next question. Again, read the question given. Choose the correct passive voice construction of the given sentence. What is the sentence here? Let us see. He was learning the work of a carpenter. This is again in the past tense. Okay. He was learning the work of a carpenter. What are the options? The work of a carpenter is being learned by him. The work of a carpenter was learned by him. The work of a carpenter was being learned by him or the work of a carpenter will be learned by him. So here you have answer number 3 as the correct answer. The work of a carpenter was being learned by him. Okay. Next question. Choose the correct passive voice construction of the given sentence. Again, we have the same format where active voice will be given to you and you have to find out which 
passive voice sentence is the correct choice. So this is the question. Didn't, did John see that movie? Okay. So did. Now remember what tense it is. I just told you. Try to recollect what tense this could be. And then try to see which sentence will be the best answer. Was that a movie seen by John? By whom was that movie seen? Is that movie seen by John? Will that movie be seen by John? So, which is the correct answer here? It is answer number one. When you said, did John see that movie? It means you are talking in the past tense. And naturally, when you put it in passive, again you will have the past tense because we are not supposed to change anything about a particular sentence. Neither the meaning nor the tense. Okay? So, was that movie seen by John is the correct answer over here. Next question for practice. Choose the correct passive voice construction of the given sentence. Again, same question format. Did you break this glass? By whom was this glass broken? Is this glass broken by you? Has this glass been broken by you? Was this glass broken by you? So, our answer is answer number 4. Moving on to one more example of the same format where you choose the correct passive voice construction for the given sentence. And the sentence is put out the light. Now, this is an imperative sentence. Okay, Imperative sentences are sentences where you order someone. To do something. So whenever you uh, order someone to do something or whenever you uh, you can say strictly tell someone to do something then the construction of the sentence is different. Okay now I'll give you this example you will understand this better. Put out the light. The light should be put out. The light must be put out. Let the light be put out. The light is to be put out. Now remember, whenever there is an imperative sentence, you usually begin the passive with the word let. So here the answer will be let the light be put out. Okay, so remember imperative sentences, we know what is an imperative sentence. We have done what is imperative sentence. We have talked about what are interrogative sentences exclamatory sentences, all these sentences we have done, types of sentences, isn't it? So when the sentence is of imperative nature, you will start the passive voice with a let. Let the light be put out. One more, choose the correct passive voice construction of the given sentence. Why should you suspect me? Okay, this is a question now. Why should I suspect you? Why should I be suspected by you? Why should you have suspected by me? Why should me be suspected by you? Think carefully, look at the answers, look at the solutions and see which one is correct. So it is the second one. Why should I be suspected by you? Okay. One more example. I will try to show you as many examples as possible children but then even that has a limit. So, you have to put in your efforts and try to solve as many examples as possible. Here the sentence is, I had eaten a cake. Had. And see, there is the eaten. Now, we have done uh, enough of these kind of examples to know that it is a perfect tense. Okay? It is in the perfect tense. When you say had and eaten, and what kind of perfect tense it is? It is the Past perfect tense. When you say had eaten, had written. Okay. It is the past perfect tense. Let's see what the examples are, what the solutions are. A cake had been eaten by me. I ate a cake. A cake will be eaten by me. I will be eating a cake. So now children, if you look carefully at the options, you can automatically arrive at the answer. Okay. So here the answer is answer number one because see had eaten it is the past perfect tense. I ate is simple past 
will be eaten eaten is future i will be eating is again continuous tense so the obvious answer is answer number 1 now let us move on to the next type of question where you will choose the correct active voice construction for the given sentence that is the sentence will be in passive voice and you have to choose the correct active voice for the sentence so we are not doing nothing but we are just turning the question over okay we are making the question ulta you can say so this is the second type of question which can be asked based on this topic let it be completed now now remember just now what did i tell you about let and what kind of sentence it could be okay so hope you are able to recollect so let's see the answer will you complete it now please complete it early complete it now let the completion be done again you have four options and then which do you think is the imperative sentence over here correct it is sentence number 3 where you are sternly asking someone to do something an imperative sentence and whenever it is an imperative sentence the passive voice i told you will start with let okay so let it be completed now translates to complete it now in the active voice moving on to the next question choose the correct active voice construction of the given sentence an orange was eaten by anil now again pay attention to the tense was eaten is what kind of tense it is again the past perfect tense okay now think about what could be the option for this what could be the uh, active voice for this try to figure out the answer before you see the option so these are the options anil will eat an orange anil was eating an orange anil was eating an orange and anil ate an orange so what do you think is the correct answer here it is anil ate an orange okay moving on to the next example the novel will be completed by me in a week it is talking about the future tense something which is going to happen in the future so let's look at the options here i completed the novel in a week i will complete the novel in a week i can complete the novel in a week i complete the novel in a week okay now i'm since i'm pointing out the tense to you i'm sure you will be able to guess the answer the answer is i will complete the novel in a week because as we discussed earlier whether the voice is active or passive you will not be changing the meaning of the sentence okay moving on next example has your homework been done examples or oh sorry options have you done your homework have you did your homework are you doing your homework do your homework options so which is the correct one so have you done your homework could be the correct answer have you did so here the tenses don't match okay the sentence is grammatically wrong you cannot say have you and did are you doing your homework here the tenses don't match again the sentence can be grammatically correct but the tenses don't match and do your homework is not a question at all so then which is the correct option it is option number 1 that is have you done your homework so children it is not very difficult also if you know your concepts okay if you know about ver verbs if you know about the tenses of verbs and at 8th standard level if you are appearing for the scholarship exam it is expected that these are the basic things that you should know so 
when you want to change from active to passive a very important thing is you know about the verbs that is a simple present tense present continuous tense present perfect tense okay so that you know how you change the voice moving on let's see the next example same question format choose the correct active voice construction of the given sentence the poor were always helped by charles okay so now here it is were so come on let your brain think about what this tense is charles always helps the poor charles is always helping the poor charles always help the poor charles always helped the poor now one more way of arriving at the right answer is some of the options children might be grammatically wrong so immediately you can chalk out or you can cut out that particular option okay this will not come for example look at option number 3 over here charles always help the poor this is somewhat not correct grammatically okay it should be charles always helps the poor all right so, so one answer is one option is out of question question num option number 3 will not come then you just need to search and find out from the other three options isn't it so come on let's see which is the right answer here so it is the last one the poor were always helped by charles so now charles always helped the poor so we are talking about something which happened in the past tense okay now we come to the last type of question or the next type of question which can be asked under this particular topic you will be asked to fill in the blanks with the correct options okay so there is one more kind of question you will be asked to find out the correct pair of active and passive voice verbs now if we do one more lesson based on this topic i will give you questions for practice based on those type of questions okay so let us look at these those who are weak dash so now what is expected here should it be those who are weak should helps those who are weak is helped those who are weak should be helped or those who are weak should be helping you have to try and find out which could be the right form of the verb and like i told you understanding the tense of the verb is extremely important when you solve questions based on voice active and passive voice so those who are weak naturally should be helped isn't it so the answer is answer number 3 now if you are saying those who are weak should helps it is wrong because those who are weak already how will they help someone else next option those who are weak is help now we are talking about more than one person when we say those okay so those is plural so you cannot say is when it is plural you say are third option we already know it is right now should be helping is again we expecting the people who are weak to help so that also doesn't fit so it is not necessary children that the sentence should be grammatically uh, wrong in order for you to cut it out it will not make sense also sometimes the question the uh, sentence when you complete it the sentence will not make sense okay so that can also help you in writing the correct answer let us look at one more example fill in the blanks with the correct option again so you have the enemy dash by us <clears throat> so what do you do to the enemy the enemy have defeated by us the enemy has been defeated by us the enemy is defeating by us or enemy or the enemy defeated by us again apply all the tricks try to find out which one doesn't match the tense 
and cut it out which one is not grammatically correct cut it out and then you will arrive at the answer that is answer number 2 the enemy has been defeated by us all right <clears throat> the next one no survivors dash so no survivors could be found were founded no survivors could find no survivors are find so the answer is no survivors could be found okay so no survivors could be found moving on the boy dash by my brother the boy was seen by my brother the boy is seen by my brother the boy was seen by my brother the boy was been seen by my brother so the first one there is some gadbad in this second one also is doesn't seem to be right the third and the fourth one you could consider but looking at the fourth one you feel that there are unnecessary words being used so our answer is answer number 3 okay so i hope i am giving you enough uh, exercises for practice enough questions for practice he dash by my question he is annoyed by my question he annoys by my question he is annoying by my question he was being annoying by my question so children the answer is answer number sorry the answer is answer number 1 he is annoyed by my question okay children so today we talked about how the sentences can be said or how they can be written in active as well as a passive voice okay a sentence in which the subject does the action to the object is said to be in the active voice and in the sentence where the doer of the action is not important but the action itself is important then that is called as the passive voice okay so we also looked at various examples of active and passive voice and we looked at how you will transform sentences in active voice to passive voice and vice versa and along the way we also discussed about the tenses of the verbs or the verb phrases okay so children now i will also recommend that you like i said before do as many sums as possible do as many examples solve as many questions as far as scholarship is concerned this is not only for english but also for all your scholarship subjects so the more practice you get the perfect you will more perfect you will become all right So children wasn't that a wonderful video and did you enjoy watching it so if you want to watch more such videos in future then please like this video and also subscribe to our channel the mcgm portal for education and also hit the bell button so that you get notified whenever i upload a new video here thank you so much for now let's meet again soon